Beginning this week and beginning on Monday with Veterans Day, I wish you a very happy Veterans Day. I greet you uh, on behalf of all the people that are on board our spiritual retreat cruise on our way to Roatan, Honduras. We're having spiritual programs on Monday morning and Tuesday morning, great spiritual programs. Today I'm going to talk about direction in our lives. In a puzzling situation, we may want a concrete direction that shows us the way that we should exactly proceed. This is what we receive when we turn to the Spirit of God. The guidance that we receive from God is never clouded or confused. The guidance we receive from God comes as good orderly direction. Now I'll say that sometimes if we do have a clouding or a confusing idea, it is in our own human mind. Sometimes when the wisdom from above that knows exactly what to do comes down through us, we don't quite get it in the beginning. But in faith, if we follow the guidance of God, we realize that we will get it in the end. The wonderful blessings of God that we couldn't even perceive of in the moment will come in good, orderly direction. In our day-to-day -day matters, or in more complex issues, in situations involving ourselves and others, our guidance comes as answers that we will follow with exact wonderful blessing. And as we do so, it is always going to work out for the highest and best good for all concerned. In prayer, our guidance begins as a feeling of renewed faith and confidence born in us. And out of this faith, our eyes are open to opportunities and possibilities that our fears and doubts may have prevented us from seeing before. Or we may receive some totally new inspiration. That's often the case. As we stay close to God in prayer, we are sure that good and orderly direction will be ours. In Micah 6 verse 8 in our Bible, it says, He has showed you what is good. Well, through the Spirit of God, you will have good and orderly direction. It will be yours.